What's up guys, my name is Jason777 and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Balor Fomorian event. Uh, Flamorian, I'm not sure how to say it. Fomorian I think is how it's pronounced, but yeah. Um, right here in the market is where you get the gear item if you don't already have it from the previous events and you go in the gear section of the foundry to build it. You need Omega, Isotopes, Cryotic, and Nanospores. You probably have a ton of Nanospores. Cryotic and Omega Isotopes you may not have. Uh, you get cryotic from um, doing excavation missions, and you get the Omega isotopes from the planet um, that has the Balor Fomorian event on it at the moment. So for right now, it's Saturn. This event's going on right now this weekend, and I think it goes till Monday or something or Tuesday. But um, if you get a bunch of these Omega isotopes, you can go in there and build a crap ton of these things and just have a blast uh, getting all the fusion cores and whatnot you get from this event. Uh, right here I'm actually using a Hydroid and a Necros and I'll show a Hydroid build right after this clip here but you just use your Pilfering Swarm uh, augment on Hydroid and that'll make it so you can get more items from killing them and then Necros obviously with a ranged Desecrate build will desecrate them. And right here this is your build for Hydroid um, you don't really need like super crazy build. This is kind of just something I cooked up real quick. Um, and then you can see me here building these Fomorian disruptors. And this is exactly how fast it builds, you know, obviously. It's like a minute, but it only takes 20 seconds for this clip because I'm a boss. Um, <laughs> as far as what you're bringing in the mission, I recommend bringing an Itzel. It's the Arcwing you build in the clan dojo, it'll get you in there really quick you can just teleport all the way to the ship and avoid any hassle on the way there and it's awesome so I would recommend using the Edsel and bring a powerful weapon because you want to dish out a lot of damage and right here you want to equip your Fomorian Disruptor otherwise you can't actually go in there and right here my friend Knight was taking his sweet damn time getting ready for this <laughs> you have no idea how many times I clicked trying to get it in there but uh, here's this amazing loading screen. And the bodies hit the that's how the loading screen goes in my head every single time. That's the only song I hear, and that's the only thing that happens every time. Uh, on your way to this ship, though, uh, you'll most likely get trapped by one of these guys on your first run or something. This was actually my first run. I never did one of these events in the past because I missed them all, but... Uh, if one of these guys traps you, just go back, shoot him a couple times with your powerful weapon that I told you to bring, and you can just head over to the ship. But right here is what you should do if you bring the Itzel. Blink off to the side so you avoid all of them, or just blink really fast through the middle if you have a lot of efficiency like I do. Um, you can obviously kill the Zeppelin that's on the right side of the ship here. Uh, there's two of these things on each side of the ship. After that cap pops off, you just have to shoot it and then it'll pop off. And after this thing is fully erected, you can damage it. And there's two on the ship, by the way. There's one on the opposite side of the ship. I have a teammate that's shooting it for me. Again, you have to wait till it's fully erected to shoot it. And then you fly inside this crack of the ship and fly up inside the core of it. And I, um, I recommend having somebody in the front and the back. You can see I'm going to the back of the ship here. And you have to shoot these little uh, yellow twisting, um, I don't know what to call them, those yellow things all around it. There's 16 of them. And if you have a person on each side of this, it should be really easy. I'll be shooting them right here in the clip. You can probably tell what I'm talking about. They blow up after you damage them enough. And after blowing them up, you get a damage multiplier on the core. So that just increases your mission score. And I'm not really sure if that really affects the percentage or if it's based off of people just completing the mission, like how many people overall completed it, or if it's based off the of damage that's done to the core. I really couldn't tell you, but um, either way, you might as well do as much damage as possible. After damaging it, you get um, like 19 seconds or something to damage it, or 29, something like that. Uh, you just need to leave the ship and get uh, 350 meters away from it, and you complete the mission. That's pretty much the basis of the event, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. The drops here are fusion cores and um, other stuff like that. I ran out of video clip because I'm a boss.
but the fusion cores and the Imperator Vandal are the only things that drop here. Um, and after that you can just leave. The Imperator Vandal is a pretty decent weapon, but uh, mainly just farm fusion cores there if you don't want to do Herocon. Herocon on Pluto is way better for fusion cores though, if you're trying to fusion core farm, just letting you know. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye